everyone. Today I wanted to show you these chameleon markers. Um, they have won some design awards and I have seen the videos all over uh, Facebook and Twitter and it uh, they look really great and amazing. They're kind of expensive um, and so one of my co-workers said that I could play around with his set and see if I like them. So this is the 22 uh, piece set and I just looked on Amazon and this set that is the 22 piece set is around $57 and some change. So before making that big investment, I just thought I would see how they work. So the first thing you'll notice is they come in this really nice carrying case. There is a red, an orange, two different yellows, uh, three different greens. There is a yellow green, an olive green, and then a Kelly green. There is four different blues, so there is like more of a turquoise sky blue, royal blue, and then this really dark, deep violet. Uh, two different purples, more of a grape, and then a deep violet, and a pink. And uh, two that are called nude. Uh, one is bisque and one is fawn. So one looks more warm. So this is a warm beige and then a cool beige. Two browns, a cool gray, and a black. Um, all of these markers are very large, uh, so they are, they're large markers, and they come dual sided with two different tips. So down here on this side you'll see a uh, fine point tip, and then on the other side there is a thicker uh, stubby tip. And then there is a chamber on each one of them, and this chamber has its own cap. And whatever side you're going to use, you put it into this section, right like that. And that colorless blender is actually taking away some of the ink from the top of the tip. And that way you get the true nature of the chameleon markers is that you are working with um, an ombre or a blended sort of quality. So I put that in there. And then as I start to use it, it's not very bright on my piece of paper, but then it gets darker and darker, brighter and brighter as that colorless blender goes away and the true nature of the marker comes out. There is a cap for this side and then there is a cap that actually covers up that blender so then it does not dry out. There is also two smaller markers, so these are um, just partial to the other ones. There is this white colorless blender and then there is a black for outlining. So again I'm just playing around with them and seeing how I like them and seeing how they tone uh, before making the investment on if I want to get my own set. So as promised I am playing around with the chameleon markers to kind of show what they can do in terms of this lovely ombre sort of look. Um, I have noticed that I enjoy some colors more than other colors um, because of the ombre nature. I have also discovered as I played around with them here that when you have them attached to um, this little blender, so it's sucking out the color, is to make sure that that blender point is going down. Um, I have also already discovered one of the major flaws of them is that you cannot reproduce the same look twice. So even if the timing is exactly the same, um, it sort of just depends on the amount of ink that is being absorbed each time. So they are really good for small spaces. I'll do this one again. Really good for small spaces, small coloring books, because coloring books generally have smaller spaces than large spaces because you would not be able to recreate the exact same ombre. So if I was to do this ombre again, and I would hold it here, for the same amount of time, so I'm just 
waiting the same amount of time um, and I'm going to try to do one exactly like it, like if you had a large area, um, that's not going to work as well. So I will start. And you can see this time it's getting much faster in releasing that pigment. So they do not match up from side to side. And that is one of the problems if you're doing a bigger area. Um, this colorless blender, I thought, was a really nice, unique idea, and I'm going to show it to you here in a second. As soon as I choose, let me choose like this blue marker. Let me find its large tip and then put it here so blender is doing its thing. Um, this blender also has two sides. Um, and I'm just going to kind of blend the little area, maybe the circle area right here. And I'm putting colorless blender on it first. And then I'm going to put this on there. And it has a tendency just to be a little smoother as it goes about. Oops. This one first, and then this one. They all click together. I can also take this colorless blender afterwards and I can put it on there and it's going to smooth out some of those lines. Especially if you're not wanting some of those lines in there. I will caution you, I'm just using my sketchbook and it is very um, pungent so it's going to seep through your paper. Let me play around with this green one, like we're going to have a little leaf. So again, the blender side down there, kind of absorbing it. And with this black marker, just draw some little leaf on there. And we'll start here. So that turned out pretty good. It's a nice ombre effect and a nice uh, blended effect. And it, this is a smaller area. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, draw an area on my sketchbook. So here's my sketchbook page. And I'm just going to take um, a Sharpie marker and I'm going to draw a little like a coloring book page and then I'll start to color it in. Well, I really thank my coworker for letting me try out the chameleon markers before I invested in the set. For me, this is a novelty set of markers. This is not going to be a go-to set of permanent markers. I did find a flaw with them, and that is twofold. One of them is that, just like the picture shows here, you need small areas. So if you like to invest a lot of time in the coloring book phase and you like small areas, this might be a nice permanent marker choice for you. Also, I am incredibly impatient and so I sort of gave up halfway through my coloring page that I had drawn for myself with these markers blending each color and instead just wanted them to be nice and juicy markers and they are not my favorite. So again, this set is the 22 and it's the deluxe set. Uh, so it has the dual tips and you can find the set on Amazon if it's something you're interested in.